Hello everyone! Today is the second episode of Paper Mario the Origami King. If you remember from last episode, we gave the Elder Tree the Soul Stone and he got a big erection. So, with that being said, we're just going to keep going through the Whispering Woods here, and I guess whatever greets us as we go. Let's check this sign. Keep out. Okay, well, time to go then, I guess. <laughs> That's it for today, everyone. I'll see you later. I guess it could be work my uncle's a tongue depressor. Oh man, that that would be worse, honestly. You don't know what you're gonna catch with all that. This toad is not in a good condition right now. <laughs> Gotta help me, I don't care what it takes. Hammering me out of this shrub. All right, bro, flattening out. Oh man. Is this what they do for surgeries? Like plastic surgery and stuff like that for people? Just as a side note, I apologize for this ugly thing right here. It's my mom's and like, I don't like it, <laughs> but she does, so I'm not gonna like tell her to not have it, you know what I mean? So, that's just gonna be there until I figure out a different solution. Uh, this little camping area seems a little cute, but I, not, I do not approve of this obnoxious music. Can I like get this speaker down somehow? Cause oh my gosh, it's so loud! Okay, thank goodness. Get out of here. Okay, we're gonna just pummel this guy. Boom! Let's go. I really like this new combat system that they've done as compared to Thousand Year Door. Like, it's so much better. It doesn't take as long, it, it's more rewarding, and it's just like, it doesn't really feel bothersome most of the time, and the puzzle aspect really helps encourage me to do it <laughs> instead of just like trying to run away every time. Not that I ran away every time in Thousand Year Door, but like, I was more incentivized to run away in that game just because of how long it took and how few rewards there were. The bridge is singing, that's awesome. I love that. Eee! Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, let's continue. <laughs> Another toad here, okay. Oh, I have to pull them. <laughs> I was just trying to hammer the crap out of them. Oh. <laughs> uh. I don't condone violence. In all honesty, these puzzles are like, not that difficult. But I'm sure I'm gonna regret saying that. Oh my gosh. I'm, okay, I'll get this confetti. This music is so annoying. Finally, oh my gosh. It's so annoying. Like, I'm all for video game music, don't get me wrong, but it's gotta be good. It can't be annoying like that crap. There we go. Like, this combat music is so fun. Like, it's... It's enjoyable. Like, it's... It's not something that I'm gonna be annoyed by every single time. And it's something that, like... I can get accustomed to. And, like, I'm, I'm already getting accustomed to it because it's just... It's just good background music, I think, towards... You know, what I'm doing in the game. Alright, let's see if we can go in here. Or if it's gonna be closed. Oh, those are eyes. Gone for a long time. Okay, well, you know, then I'll come back later. I'll just keep going, I guess. Toad Town, let's go! Toad Town, okay, that sounds fun. I like the sounds of that. Are there gonna be even more toads? Let's see what these rascals are up to. Let's fold them up. <laughs> That's such an anticlimactic, like, I don't know, call out or like gang thing or slang or whatever, you know? Like, that's so, like, I don't know. It just seems odd. So far, my audience has been growing nicely, which I like, you know? It's just those little toads hanging out in the crowd, booling, you know, cheering me on a little bit. One of them said I could pay them to, like, give me stuff or help me or something, but, I mean, is it really worth the money? <laughs> why, do, why should I be paying my audience members to watch me commit murder? <laughs> you know, like, shouldn't they be paying me the entertainer for murder. We're taking an L on this one, guys. We got rescued by Mario, but you know what? Maybe we should put aside our differences for a while. All right, sure. They're gonna stack up, that's so funny. All right, bye y'all. I said y'all because that is a proper conjunction. I'm not from the South and I never will be. <laughs> because yucky. Oh, here we go. Toad Town on the horizon. What the f What is that? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, oh, that's gonna be bad, isn't it? That's gonna be real bad. 
Just like in the intro and when we began, Toad Town is completely abandoned. <laughs> Just like it should be. Everything is still terrible, okay? Don't, don't, don't leave. <laughs> if you go to school, don't. <laughs> Where did that guy come from? He wasn't there in the scene before. Where did he come from? <laughs> That house was literally perfectly fine until this guy just teleported and appeared. He's munching on that house though. <laughs> yeah, you munching. It's made of papers, it's gonna eat paper. Why is that? Oh, whoa, is that cannibalism? What the? Oh my gosh. That's nasty stuff. We got some, we got some signs of the lamb stuff going on over here. Ooh, okay. Hey, a chest, let's go. What's in here? Gee, I wonder what this is. Whoa! It's broccoli! I'm gonna go to the right first instead of going straight to the castle. Just because I want to explore everything in here. What the? What are you? You're not even- you're not a Koopa, you're not a Goomba, what are you? Can I- oh, I can go back here. There better be something good. Ah, okay, what are you doing there, bud? Huh? You okay? <laughs> Ooh, what you doing, huh? What you doing? Oh! <laughs> I just whomped him. This is the house that the other Goomba was just munching and crunching on. I missed that coin, son of a... I'm gonna go back for the coin, you better believe me. <laughs> if it's not there, I swear, I'm quitting right now. If it's not there. You ever just steal someone's money? <laughs> Where did that person sleep? I just realized that. They just had a table and chairs and, and a wardrobe. Where they kept their money, apparently. And a, and a plant. Nothing else. And we defeated all the bad guys, or at least all the big bad guys, and now a change of music. Which means there are no more bad guys ever in any video game forever. <laughs> You're not a shy guy? Are you kidding me? Oh my. You know what? I'm just gonna sit here a minute. You guys don't have to watch. I'm gonna... Wait. Give me a few minutes here, okay? I just... This is something that is just... It's it's very stressful to leave. Keep doing that! Hit it again! Nice. I did. That's not even the manhole hook? Oh my gosh. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. I like this though. I'm ready. I'm ready. Where is it? Ooh. Yeah, a secret doorway. It's just like the bookcases in libraries. When you, you know, you pull a book and then you knock down the whole bookcase and the whole shelf and the rest of the shelves in the entire library. That's why I don't go to libraries. All right, there we go. Oh, hey, nice. Manhole hook. All right, let's do it. Graffiti underground, I'm ready for this West Side Story kind of action that I think is about to happen. <laughs> Am I the sharks or the jets? Hmm. I will be landmine. Graffiti underground, here we go. Look, someone's here. They're right there, I can see them, Olivia. Curator of the museum, that's awesome. Nice. So I can act <laughs> What's with this <laughs> what they music when they get closer? Is he like threatening me to come visit or something? <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, museums are kind of fun. It depends on which one you go to, but like, I have never met a museum curator that aggressive. <laughs> this graffiti underground thing is, you know, pretty cute. <laughs> okay. They're double teaming me now. That's just rude. Ah! <laughs> Mario's just like, okay, I guess I'm getting assaulted by a gang. This looks fun. Oh, wow, I wonder where that leads. You know, me too. Me too, Olivia. I really, I really do wonder. I feel like the music in video games kind of gets slept on by a lot of people, by the majority of people. Strictly because people are more focused on what's actually happening in the game. As opposed to, I guess, the background noise. And I mean, it makes sense. You know, it makes a lot of sense. But 
when you actually just listen to the music by itself sometimes it can sometimes you know it's all it's not always like bad music or like quirky video game music like this kind of music that was happening just then yeah maybe it is a little quirky and odd you know and just video game-esque but some music is actually quite beautiful from video games Mo like breath of the wild persona 5 pokemon all of that music and and so much more is is fantastic it's just amazing and i feel like not enough people give it the attention it deserves use your fire flower he's so aggressive with just me wanting to use pyrotechnics and commit arson <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> so aggressive let's go 100 percent all the way for graffiti underground i mean it's not that big of an area so but it's fine i still am taking that a plus so hey if people are handing out a pluses you take them no discussion you take that a plus you gonna take that a plus they're handing them out. It's high school. Take it. Oh, Luigi, you crashed my car again. Luigi, come on. Again. He, he, he took my car. I let him take it. Actually, I didn't even let him take it. He just took it. And I said, what the heck, man? That's mine. How'd you even get the keys? And he was like, yeah, I took them from your bottom drawer. And... I crashed it. What a jerk. Where is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Nice. There he is. Louis guy. My hat, but what happened to the whole castle? Except for the one part that wasn't crashed was where you were, Luigi. So you should be grateful right now instead of like, whoa, the castle's gone. Well, you were almost gone, Luigi, and nobody would have been sad if you were, okay? Except you, maybe. But how would you even know to be sad? For clues? I mean, sure. I mean, I'll look for money. I'll take Pre Princess Peach's money. She doesn't give me anything for saving her after all of these years. Literally, like, 36 years of saving Princess Peach. And she doesn't give Mario anything. And she keeps leaving him. She keeps going with Bowser. She doesn't even want to stay with Mario. Like, Mario saves her. And then she just books it again in another couple years whenever they make another Mario game. And she's like, yeah, I like Bowser better. He's got that, he's got that, you know, stuff. Let's go check on Luigi. Maybe he's crashed my car again. Nut job. Okay, he left. What a jerk. Come on. And he left those tire tracks. How fast was he going? What the heck, dude? Oh my gosh, Luigi is a savage and he's a jerk. <laughs> like literally, we could just hike up to the castle with some scissors, cut for a couple hours, and then save the day. We don't have to go exploring for all these streamers or whatever. We could just snip snip, all right? Easy mode, like Michael Scott, snip snap, snip snap. <laughs> easy come on well i think that wraps it up for today everyone thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and next one i guess we'll be going for the red streamer at least making our way towards it and yeah i hope you come back for the next one bye